Yo, what plant is that? What plant hey, is that? Hey, plant is that's that? a pretty flower. What plant is that? Dude. What? What is that? That's neat. Oja, how excellent is thy name in all the world. How oh, manifold are thy works set right in all the world. Out of the mouths of babes and subjects are thou a deep strength to steal the enemies and the avengers. Greetings. Here we have Curly Doc. Botanical name, Rumex crispus. This plant grows in the U.S. in the majority of states except for high up on the mountains. It grows in the U.K. and in Africa and a few other regions throughout the world. It prefers a sandy soil, loamy like loamy meaning sand mixed with silt and clay or particularly clay soils, which you don't often find a plant that grows in sand and clay. All portions of this plant are edible and can be eaten raw or cooked. It's considered a bitter herb, though in the fall, after the first frost, the bitterness tends to leave the plant so if you want to go and collect some leaves at that time you may get a better tasting plant less medicinal but better tasting the edges of the leaves are smooth and when you uncurl them you can see that but from a distance they do appear to be toothed have some waves in them some edges but when you straighten them out you see that is not so Medicinally, this plant is rich in vitamin A and in vitamin C, and it has a pretty good amount of iron. All portions can be dried for later use, including the seeds, and the seeds can also be ground down into a flower. Again, the best use for wild gathered grains like this, which lack the ability to stick to themselves as readily as all-purpose flour. The best use would be to get a good portion of this and you can mix it even 50-50 with your regular flour. And this will boost the nutritional content of your flour by as much as 10 times. Medicinally, it has been used as a gentle and safe laxative for mild constipation. It's very cleansing for a wide range of skin issues. The root is the most active medicinally, being antiscorbutic, which means it prevents scurvy. It's astringent, which has drying qualities, healing qualities. It's a cholagogue, which means it increases bile. Now that's where the bitterness comes into effect because bile will help you in digestion. As a matter of fact, if you may have stomach ulcers, irritable bowel syndrome, if you suffer from poor digestion, even acid reflux, an increase in bile will help you break down your food better and absorb better nutrients from it. It's considered depurgative, which means it has a high quality purging and detoxing effect. Used internally for constipation, diarrhea, hemorrhoids, bleeding of the lungs, chronic skin disease externally it is also put on the skin and it's put on wounds and sores and the roots can be dried and it can be used as a as a dusting agent if you have like a if you have a wound that is oozing to help dry it up now many people will tell you that yellow dock well curly dock is also called yellow dock but many people will tell you that it's high in iron. It may not be particularly high in iron, but it's it has a good amount of iron. But what it does is help you with the absorption and the use of iron. So it helps you 
with iron with from whatever source it comes from it helps to be more bioavailable to you which many who are anemic may find to be in their favor it has more vitamin c than spinach more phosphorus and calcium than spinach but one thing to look out for with curly dock is that it has oxalic acid and too much oxalic acid can cause issues more specifically with those with tendency to rheumatism arthritis gout kidney stones or hyperactivity i mean hyper acidity the reason for that is because oxalic acid can lock up calcium and we know that calcium is a good portion of our bones so you can imagine that the binding up of calcium into one pile would make it a hard thing which is why too much oxalic acid can cause kidney stones and why you would also have joint issues from that. But you would have to eat a great portion of curly dock in order to experience this effect from oxalic acid and you would have to eat a great portion of it raw. Other than that, it can be used and is quite beneficial whenever you see it throughout the year. There are no poisonous lookalikes. To curly if you have any existing care. health concerns, take that into consideration. If you are taking any medications at this time, take that into consideration and allow a two to three hour window before consuming plants medicinally. Do not take anything that you are not sure of or that you have not properly identified. If you have any further concerns, do not consume the plant. If you would like to know what other medical implications may come about from going back to a more natural life to a more traditional lifestyle after you have properly identified and know the uses of plants thoroughly and you are still concerned, of course, consult your local drug dealing doctor.